Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, we're going to talk about how to use a camera tripod for cooking. Stay tuned. So we're down here around the creek and uh, down close to where I teach the classes. And I have a class coming up at the end of this week, so uh, it's been working hard to get everything ready for that. But I have this camera tripod. And of course, for those of us that film, uh, this is a, a Mohawk. Uh, it's just a, a camera tripod. And I actually found this one along the side of the highway. I was just driving along and I happened to look the side of the road and I saw a tripod laying there by the highway. I don't know if somebody was hauling it off for garbage. It's got some rusty parts on it. Uh, as you can see right in there, you can see it's kind of rusty in spots. But uh, anyway, it got me thinking. I, I brought it home. I hated to see a good tripod just lay there. But as with most of these tripods, you can get these really cheap. I mean, three, four, five dollars at a lot of secondhand stores. But it's missing this part here. And uh, of course, this is the quick detach where you attach the shoe to the camera and then it detaches and you can store it in your camera bag or case but a lot of times people will donate these or they lose this and so you can find these really cheap but unless you make your own it's kind of useless but I got to thinking about it what can I use this for and I come up with a great idea so the first thing that we want to do is we want to take the top off here and it's very easy to do that uh, you just kind of all of these things unscrew and so we're going to take the handle off and lay it aside or stick it in the pocket unscrew this top here this is the the part that rotates of course and then it should if we get it loose enough it should just come off and I have had this off here before again you got to get it loose enough so that it will slide over the top you may actually have to take the the bolt off there we go. So once you get that off, then the whole top detaches and we're left with this little bit of a, of a plug. And uh, so you want to just leave that on there. So now we have our tripod with the top portion removed. We still have this bolt here, this to tighten it, put friction on it, keep it from going up and down. And we have the crank. We're going to leave that on there because this allows us to crank it up and down. Okay, so we just fold that down however we wish and uh, we're ready to go. All right, and of course, the tripod section, you just flip these up and extend them out, like so. This is pretty standard stuff for those of you that work with cameras. It's not anything new. It's just an aluminum tripod. Until we have it opened up. So what makes this work, once we get it opened up, is I took this bottom section here and just took an old bolt and screwed it into the aluminum and then drilled a hole in the end and put this hook in here. Now this hook I did bend to make it slightly smaller so that it would slide up inside the tube when you crank it, just like so. Because that's very important. So it needs to be able to slide in and out of the tube when you turn this crank. Okay, and I'm sure some of you are probably already getting the idea. But this makes a pretty versatile uh, little cooking stand. It's relatively compact, doesn't weigh a lot. You can stick it in your backpack and it's very reusable so you don't have to, you know, use sticks and uh, every time you're out to uh, make a tripod, you can just take one with you. And if you really wanted to, you could modify your existing tripod. It doesn't hurt its function any. If it had the proper top on it, you could use this to shoot your videos as well as for a tripod around camp. So it has a lot of good ideas and uses. I'm sure some of you can come up with uh, different ideas of how to use this. But let's get a fire started and let's see how it works. Now you might ask, why would you do something like this? I mean, I live in the woods. Uh, I've got plenty of sticks around. I can easily make a tripod. Well, there's a lot of people that live in areas in the town, in the city, where they don't have a lot of trees. Uh, I read a story about a man who moved into an area uh, in town, his age is getting a little bit up on him, and, and they bought a small house with a couple of acres, and they literally had three trees on the property, and they had to cut one of them down. 
So if you're limited with the amount of wood that you can have, but you still want to practice bushcraft, you still want to have a fire, this is one way that you can do it using things that are cast off or repurposing materials, as you might say. We've got our tripod set up, we've got some sticks gathered, and uh, going to use our fire kit. Also going to use the uh, fat rope stick that I've demoed on other videos. This stuff is simply an awesome fire starter. So basically the way this works is you just shave off however much of this you think you need. It doesn't take a huge amount. Want to make sure you have enough though. And it's, it's actually quite simple. You just shave it off. And uh, once you get a, a decent little pile, you think we'll do what you need. Should be good enough. And just put it together, pull it all together in a pile. This stuff is, of course, totally waterproof and strikes very easy with a ferro rod. Make your little pile there. That's all it takes. Very, very simple. We'll put our wood on top. And there we go. Let that build its strength and get back with you. All right, we got the fire blazing pretty good. And now we're ready for the next part of our project. We have our very small stainless steel kettle with us today. And I've yet to use this over an open flame, but uh, it's pretty nice. It holds about a quart. And uh, of course we have a stainless steel bottle full of water, we'll set that down. And then also, in here we have some coffee. And uh, this is not a, a really uh, fancy coffee, it's just an instant coffee. But uh, anyway, we're gonna start using it. Inside of the fire kit, I also carry a small length of metal chain give you an idea what this looks like up close just a small hook on each end and about a foot or so of chain and of course this is for cooking on top of our of our stand all right we got the wind blowing against the legs so we're going to turn it there we go and again, this will be fine as long as you don't have a great big huge fire. So you want to kind of let this burn down and you want to make sure the fire doesn't get high enough to actually melt or burn any of the plastics that are on your tripod. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pour some water in here. And uh, this is not necessarily for the outdoors, but I took and put three little dents in here. Eight and 16 and 24 ounces and then nearly to the top is the full 32. So you can see those little dents that I made. Just to help me measure. And we're gonna pour it in here. And you can see the dents from the inside. And we're gonna go up to, oh, we're gonna put about 12 ounces in it. That'll do, right there. Attaching this is really easy. All we do is we take the center part of the handle, we take our little hook, 
We come around and we hook it into a chain, just like that. And then we put the other hook to the bottom of the tripod, just like this. Zoom in a little bit here and get an idea of how it works. So what's unique about this, of course, is the fact that uh, it's getting pretty warm now. And let's say I want to go ahead and add my coffee. So all I have to do is make sure this is loose. And then I just crank this like this. And it raises the coffee kettle up off the fire sufficiently so that I don't have to lift it and move it around. Just take off the lid. And uh, got a few bubbles forming in there. Open up the spoon here. And there we go. Stir it around a little bit. Put the lid back on. Now we're ready to lower it back into position. And just like that, we now have our coffee at a proper height over top the fire. And of course I can adjust this chain a little bit if I want it even farther down. But that should be good enough to heat it and to do what we need. Right there. Alright, well we've got a nice boil going so we're just going to Crank it up here up off the fire so we can get a hold of it. And then uh, using the Cooksa, I'm going to pour some coffee in here. And uh, it's kind of cool today. It's only about 55 degrees Fahrenheit. So we don't even have to take it off of the chain to pour it. It's, this is a very convenient little system. And we've got a nice convenient log here to sit on, washed up in the creek. Enjoy our cup of coffee. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure and share this on your social media platforms. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. Also, check out the links in the description box below. And don't forget to press the bell button to stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.
would share this on your social media platforms. We'd sure enjoy it, and we'll talk to you next time. Also, make sure to share this on your social media platforms. And if you haven't yet, please done so. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And make sure and check out the links and share, like, and subscribe. Ah, oh, I gotta get this. Oh, we changed things.